How to pass a shit test? Well, first you need to know what it looks like. For example, it's when someone asks you a hard question. See the following example from Sandra Bullock. It is a comedy. <laughs> yeah, but you can learn things from comedy. Not really. Yeah! Has anyone learned anything from your comedy? If you don't know how to answer it, you'll fill her shit test. In this video, I'll break down a conversation between Sandra Bullock and Craig Ferguson. And I'll quiz you on these three tests. At the end, I'll also respond to some criticism shit testing has been receiving on some message boards. Let's get started. To preface this a bit, Craig and Sandra are talking about her role in her upcoming movie, which is a comedy. It is a comedy. <laughs> yeah, but you can learn things from comedy. Not really. Yeah! Has anyone learned anything from your comedy? <laughs> so how do we solve this? We need to realize a different question is being asked. Sandra is not asking anymore if you can learn from comedy in general. She's asking directly if anybody has learned anything from Craig's comedy, implying that Craig's Late Late Show is a comedy show. So first we need to answer that question before we can move on to the question if you can learn something from comedy in general. How would you respond as Craig? Oh, you think I'm funny? Has anybody learned anything from your movies? But is it technically comedy? I think so. The show is very popular. But is it technically comedy? <laughs> Touche. 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 She yields. Craig explains he doesn't accept her frame that the show is a comedy show. And from here we can pick up the subject again of learning from comedy in general. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, people can learn stuff from comedy. What about um, that movie? That, exactly, uh... my point. <laughs> Craig is stumbling here to remember the name of a comedy movie. And Sandra is pointing out that Craig can't even remember the name of the movie whilst persisting that you can learn from comedy, proving her point. So again, Sandra is still not convinced. So Craig tries to find an answer by asking what kind of comedy Sandra enjoys. <laughs> It, what? What's your favorite comedy movie that you've seen that you've not been in? <laughs> Dumb and Dumber, eh? <laughs> Craig is making fun of Sandra, kind of teasing her to keep it light. But this triggers the self-defense of Sandra, which makes her use sarcasm to drive her point home. That you cannot learn from comedy. Yeah, no, but the, the poop humor is fun. Mm. I mean, if you do the toilet scenes well and you commit to them, they can be really, really powerful and poignant. <laughs> So what you're saying is... So what you're saying is, Craig is actually trying to understand Sandra by applying reflective listening techniques, which I've quizzed you about in my previous videos, linked down in the description. So what you're saying is... Do you is, recall that scene well, in the movie? The, the, the poop the, scene in Dumb and Dumber? The, the poop scene? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Sandra is using sarcasm to respond to Craig, but sarcasm is a double-edged sword. Especially when somebody is genuinely trying to understand you, and this is where the tables start to turn. Craig has had enough. He's been reasonable with reflective listening, trying to understand Sandra. Sandra's sarcasm therefore backfires, and she's going to try and backpedal out of the subject. Just, do I say we move off that subject? I'd say we move off that subject. How would you respond as Craig? Sure, let's do that. How was working with Betty White? What subject do you want to talk about? No, I, I want to know why you can't learn from comedies. I'm interested. No, let's stay with poop. People enjoy that. It just continue on. No, to no, else. let's stay with poop. Okay. People enjoy that. <laughs> Craig is not letting her off the hook. He knows he has something here. We see Sandra is starting to feel the heat of what's coming. Ooh, oh, it's, it's, does that get you going? No, no. <laughs> Classic. Craig misinterprets Sandra's reaction for being turned on by poop. And now the roles have turned. It's Sandra who is now on the defensive. I'm really trying to do you a went. late night talk show I'm thing. I'm learning something through comedy. I've learned there something. There you are there. You there awesome. you are. Sandra now actually admits she has learned something through comedy and she wants to be let off the hook by Craig. And Craig actually lets her off the hook for a little bit. But then Sandra makes a remark about Craig's accent. I'll be your German or Austrian therapist. Freudian. And Freudian? Oh, well, I might be Freudian, but I might not be. I might no. be Jungian. Oh, I love Jungian. Do you? Just because the way you say it. Tell Jungian. <laughs> I didn't say it like that. I said Jungian. 
You, but your lip kind of went out. Do that again. <laughs> Craig is using role play here to play her therapist. This is a great flirting technique, which is out of the scope of this video, but be aware of it. Sandra throws out a small test, basically saying Craig's lip looks weird, saying union, asking if he could do it again, checking if he'll play along. What would you do in this situation? You shouldn't be looking at my lips, lady. I don't like it when you make fun of me, Miss Bullock. Union. Does my accent turn you on? Do it again. You, you mean. <laughs> I feel better now. All right then. Okay. So tell me about your dreams. When did you first start dreaming of poop? Of poop. <laughs> that, ladies and gentlemen, is the face of desperation. Sandra doesn't know what to do anymore and is now stuck in Craig's frame. She lets Craig know and he finally lets her off the hook. Oh God, I do not know how to get out of this. No, it's fine. <laughs> It's fine. Did you have a nice time with- Craig doesn't want to make Sandra feel uncomfortable and he moves on to another topic, staying in control of the conversation. This is how you pass shit tests. You keep it light and you keep it moving. But you also keep your conversation partner comfortable at the same time. On the message boards, I see a lot of confusion about what shit testing is really about. That you need to have self-respect to save yourself from having psychos in your life who test you. She's manipulating you or she doesn't trust you and wants you to leave her alone but there are some people that seem to understand what this is about life and people throw shit tests at you all the time whether they see them or not this board thinks you can just choose to avoid them i've never heard of this before but it kind of makes sense to other people giving lengthy entries how testing can be healthy well i'm here for you guys on this channel we believe that happiness is a choice and with the right skills you can achieve that happiness in your relationships passing the right shit test and in turn giving the right shit tests at the right time to the people that want to come into your life and into your circle is about basic quality control. In turn, it will give you many business opportunities, friends, and make sure the people you spend time with are sincere. This is a continuation of a series where I quiz you in social dynamics. If you enjoyed this video, then I think you'll enjoy my other videos as well. I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments. Like and subscribe if you want to support the channel. And I'll I'll see you in the next one.